the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to our protagonist, In Su, a young college student with a unique ability. He can see ghosts roaming around him. He constantly wears a mysterious locket that starts to spin whenever a spirit approaches. Unfortunately, because of this supernatural ability, he is often bullied by his classmates, who call him the Ghost Seer. They could do better than that. What about Douche Willis? One day, while on the subway, In Su's locket goes crazy, telling him there's a ghost nearby. When he looks around, he sees a young girl's ghost among the busy subway crowd. This unsettles In Su, prompting him to quickly get out of the metro. He then rushes back home and scans the room with his locket. At first, In Su finds nothing and gets relieved, but then the locket starts spinning and he spots the ghost sitting on his shoulders. Here, it is revealed that the ghosts do not approach In Su to harm him. In fact, they just want help from him. This particular ghost appears to have been murdered, so she informs him about her corpse's location. She only wants her parents to find some solace. At first, Insu hesitates, but after a lot of convincing, he contacts the cops and settles the case. Although he helps the ghost with her request, Insu is tired of his abilities. He simply wants to lead a normal life and make friends. Therefore, he decides to quit school and seek answers in his hometown. He contacts his uncle, Hakaru, and lets him know that he is coming. The latter tries to dissuade him, saying that his studies are important, but Insu does not listen. Dad, if one more ghost sits on my face, I'm gonna freak. In the next scene, he returns to his hometown, and along the way, he spots a beautiful girl named Rose. Later, Insu meets his uncle, who seems to have the same capacity to see ghosts like him. Not only this, he is a master exorcist, who is known for banishing ghosts to the afterlife. The next day, Insu gets admitted to his childhood school. The teacher introduces him to everyone, and Insu hopes that he can have a fresh start here. Unfortunately, a group of bullies notice him, and immediately start tormenting him. One of the bullies, named Hyunji, even flirts with him, despite having a boyfriend, Hai Chul. She thinks he's the Bruce Chillist. As all of this is going on, In Su spots a female ghost wearing a mask outside the classroom and becomes horrified. Later, as he is returning home from school, Hai Chul suddenly attacks him from behind and beats him up. The bully warns In Su to stay away from his girlfriend, even though she was the one flirting. Hai Chul then threatens our boy by bringing up the case of a certain Ai Young. She died under mysterious circumstances years back, and Insu was visited by her ghost numerous times. She always pleaded for help, but Insu never had the courage to do so. This was one of the main reasons why he transferred to the city. The scene then cuts to one of the female bullies, who returns home and discovers a polythene bag hanging on the front door. When she tries opening it, the polythene breaks, and blood spills all over her face. Scared, the bully desperately tries to phone her friends, but the call just won't connect. Then, in the blink of an eye, the same masked ghost from earlier attacks her and finishes her off. What the hell was the point of the blood bag? Later, we see Insu sitting with the same girl from earlier, Rose. She is actually a ghost who died some years back. But since she isn't scary and ugly like the others, Insu likes talking to her. Suddenly, wind starts to blow, and Rose tells Insu that the masked girl is near them. This frightens our boy, and he immediately runs away from there. The next day at school, as he Hyunji is harassing a boy in front of the entire class. Insu gets fed up and intervenes. He orders her to stop the bullying once and for all. As expected, the other bullies spring forward to beat Insu up, but Hyunji stops them. It appears that she has started liking him. She might even like a look at his Bruce Wheelies. In the evening, as Insu and his uncle are watching the news, they see a solved murder case where the killer is finally apprehended after 10 years. He is found to be wearing a mask. This immediately catches Insu's attention as he recalls the masked ghost he saw at school. He talks about her with his uncle, hoping to find any information. Just then, a female spirit, who appears to be living in the same house, reveals that the masked girl's name is Sai He. Meanwhile, a couple from the bully gang sneaks into the school at night. They are there to get back the girl's cell phone, which was seized by one of the teachers earlier. After getting the job done, they enter a classroom and have some fun. Then, the girl rushes to the washroom, leaving the boy alone. 
road while waiting for her to return. Suddenly, the masked ghost, Sai He, appears and kills him. After this, she confronts the other bully in the bathroom stall and finishes her off as well. The following day, the entire school is shaken up by the murders. In particular, Hyun Ji appears to be distressed as all her friends are being targeted one after another. Meanwhile, In Su tries to gather information on the masked ghost, Sai He. He inquires with everyone in the classroom, but no one dares to talk about Sai He. Despite the fact that they are aware of her, it appears that her death had something to do with the bully group. Later, while In Su and Rose are enjoying their time together, he receives a message from one of his classmates. She includes a photo of Sai He, as well as a statement mentioning that she should not be questioned about Sai He anymore. In Su then asks Rose if she knows anything about Sai He. In response, the beautiful ghost girl says that the entire school knows how she died. Hearing this, it finally dawns on In Su that the bully group was responsible for Sai He's death. Filled with rage, he attacks Hai Chul from behind, but the bully easily overpowers him and beats him up instead. Nonetheless, In Su, with a wicked smile on his face, says, Sai He is coming for you all. Later, when the bullies are returning home, Hyun Ji shows Hai Chul a picture of Sai He's father and links it with her friend's murders. She is certain that the old man is killing all the bullies one by one as an act of vengeance. Hai Chul agrees with her assumption, and together, they decide to head towards Sai He's house and kill her father. Before heading there, though, Hyun Ji secretly messages In Su about their plan. In the next scene, In Su receives the message and informs his uncle about the situation. Even though he despises the bullies, he knows that their lives are in danger. Hence, he decides to stop them before it's too late. Hakaru asks him to be careful and gives him a magical dagger for protection. On the other hand, as Hai Chul and Hyun Ji enter the house, they are startled by a continuous thumping sound coming from a box. At the same time, they notice some flashy images of the dead girl, Sai He. At this point, they realize that In Su is speaking the truth. Sai He has indeed come out for revenge. Terrified, the bullies try to run away, but at the same time, Sai He's father mysteriously pops out of the box and finishes off Hai Chul. Seeing her boyfriend die in such a brutal fashion, Hyun Ji begs for her life. She even apologizes for everything that she did in the past. However, the father doesn't listen to her words and kills her as well. In the aftermath, In Su finally arrives at the scene. He enters the house to find his classmates lying limp on the floor. He also notices Sai He's father and realizes that he has been possessed by his daughter's ghost. Just as In Su is about to leave, he hears a sound coming from a nearby closet. Inside, he finds Sai He with her usual mask on. In Su courageously unmasks her and discovers that she is none other than Rose. Following this, we are taken to the past to find out what really happened. Sai He was a fun-loving girl at the same school, but just like the other she was also tormented by the bully group. One day, after reaching her breaking point, she complained to the head teacher about Hyunji's bullying behavior. Taking the matter seriously, the teacher insulted Hyunji in front of everyone. This enraged the bully girl so much that she decided to make Sai He's life a living hell. From the next day onwards, Hyunji and her gang started treating Sai He like an animal. They beat her up, pulled her hair, set fire to her hair, and even forced her to wear a mask. All the students in the class witnessed this, but they never spoke up due to fear of meeting the same fate. The constant torture took a toll on Sai He's life, and she cried all the time at home. Her concerned father advised her to contact the head teacher, but Sai He declined, saying this would only escalate things. Then, one day, fed up with the constant abuse, she committed the unthinkable. In the afterlife, her spirit split into two personalities. The first one is Rose, who resembles the actual Sai He, sweet and always helpful to others. The second one is the masked girl, who is on a quest to eliminate all her tormentors. In the present, In Su discovers a diary in which all of the victims' names have been crossed out, except for the head teacher. This means that the masked girl is not done with her killings yet. Scared, In Su immediately calls his uncle and requests him to go to Sai He's house and execute the burial rites. He then proceeds to the school and 
order to save the head teacher. In the next scene, as the head teacher is working alone, she is confronted by Saihi's spirit. Shortly after, Ian Su arrives at the school, and he immediately inquires about the teacher. However, no one seems to have seen her. Suddenly, the lights go out, and Saihi appears in front of them. Having possessed the head teacher's body, she then reveals her true masked self, and says that since they all turned a blind eye to her when she was being bullied, they all deserve to be punished. Insu attempts to stop her, but Saihi grabs a lighter and throws it on the ground, where gasoline was thrown before. At this moment, it appears that all the students are going to be burned to death. But surprisingly, Rose, the alter ego of Saihi, catches the lighter before it can hit the ground. The two then have a ghastly conversation, where Rose tries to stop her other self from harming the students. However, Saihi, who is much more powerful, easily swats away Rose, making her disappear. This split personality demon can handle physical things and it banish itself. Gonna have to nerf that shit in the next patch. On the other hand, Hakaru reaches Saihi's house and starts his supernatural procedure. With her spiritual strength, Saihi begins to shatter everything in her path. On the other side, Insu begins checking the magical locket on anyone who could be possessed by Rose. When he discovers the locket spinning around a girl, he tells her to stop everything and provides her with a notebook that he found inside Saihi's container. The scene swings back to a flashback, revealing that Insu and Saihi were childhood friends. They appeared to be in love, and Insu had sketched a picture of her in his notebook. In the present, he apologizes to Rose's spirit for failing to identify her. The distraction proves to be enough as Hikaru completes his task on the other end. As the poor girl's spirit is finally liberated, the dagger in Insu's pocket starts to glow. Or is he just happy to see her? Rose pulls it out ooh, and immediately stabs herself. Oh, damn. After which, we see a flashback of Insu and Saihi's wonderful memories. In the final scene, all of the students are shown mourning at Saihi's grave. Insu is also present with a beautiful sketch of his beloved Rose. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.